All right, good evening, everybody. What the fuck? That's not what I meant to do. Welcome to the stream. Woo! Okay, so sorry about the delay, guys. So we had um some craziness. I was prepping stuff. I looked down, and there was a giant-ass puddle of water in the floor. So uh, Pop Jedi and I got that taken care of. Thankfully, it's nothing serious. All is well. But we're going to go ahead and get right into this. So first of all, hello, DM Susan, L2S Entertainment, a rogue singer, Sisla. I saw other people. Let me scroll. Hey, Braindrock, welcome back. Welcome back, my friends. I hope everybody is doing well. Hello, Heltena. Papa Jedi, hello. Thank you so much for that eight month resub, honey. You rock. You don't have to do that. Okay, I know we are running just a smidge behind, so we're gonna go ahead and get right into this, guys. We are making Milanesa con huevos for, oh, and we've got a crab rave. I can't see who did the crab rave. It was Melee, should have known that. Thank you, Melee. Melee After Dark, thank you so much for those bits. How are you doing tonight, my friend? Oh, and we got a victory SpongeBob Screech as well. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Phoenix. Yeah, how is everybody doing? Yeah, we're gonna, we're, yeah, let's go ham. We're, and funny enough, we're cooking with some ham tonight because, uh, yeah, it does work for cooking. I'm a fan. Okay, let me switch over, get my recipe ready. So there's a couple things we're gonna do first. So this recipe, um, like I said, LT redeemed this. This is his uh, channel point cooking stream redemption. So, uh, milanesa con huevos is gonna be made up of three things tonight, so we're making three things. So first of all, we are doing french fries. Second, we are doing a Russian potato salad with beets, carrots, peas, and an olive oil mayo. Um, and then the third part of this is gonna be some breaded veal cutlets. Um, so we're gonna bread some veal, Fry it up. It is then going to be topped with, um, so normally the recipe would call for prosciutto cotto, which we unfortunately do not have in the area. So we are subbing it with uh, Black Forest ham. Uh, L2 consulted with some family, and apparently that is the closest thing that we have to that. So we're using uh, Black Forest ham instead of prosciutto cotto, but then it's going to be topped with some Emmental cheese, and then we're putting a fried egg on top of all this. So we're gonna have potatoes, potatoes, veal on top, ham, cheese, egg. It's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be so full. I'm gonna be in total food coma by the time we finish this, guys. I'm so excited. Okay, so first things first, I want to get some water boiling. I'm going to get a big pot of water. We're gonna dump potatoes um and beets in and get those all boiling get everything nice and happy and then we're going to move on to some prep for the veal um give me some please it sounds so good Ro rogue you're you're probably the closest road trip away mm. from us oh and also ringo says hi everybody i don't know if you can hear that hell yeah we're doing frenchy fries from scratch sizzla hell yeah and I'll show you guys a little trick that I have learned to make them extra crispy and wonderful as well. So let me grab a quick pot of water. I'm going to get that boiling. Hey, queen of books. Welcome. Um, Aquarius human. Oh my goodness. How are you doing friend? Welcome. It's so good to see you. Patience is legendary. I just love to cook. I just really love to cook. So, okay. Let me get a couple pots of water going, guys, and then we will get right into it. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Not too well, but not too bad either. Well, I hope things get better, and I hope we can make your night at least a little bit better for you, because um, we love you, friend. We're here for you. So, all right, guys, let me step away for two seconds. I'm going to get some water on the stove, and then we will get into prepping our veggies. I'm excited.
And you know what? I've got two pots. We're going to need a pot for the potatoes, a pot for the beets. So I'm just going to bring both pots over here. I'll fill them with water and then pop them on the stove here in a minute. And we'll just do it that um, Also, I get to show you guys my trick for hard boiling eggs that lets the shell peel off super, super easy. And I will never, ever make eggs any other way ever again because of this method that I learned. So, um, okay. Wait, what am I doing? What am I doing? First of all, I need a second pot, and then we're going to chop these beets and get them ready. All right. So, first pot. We have beautiful golden potatoes. And we're gonna boil these. I was instructed to boil these with the skins on and peel afterwards. So um, the way that this is gonna work is because these are going into water that we are going to then rinse off of the potatoes, we are going to peel the potatoes. I am not gonna be washing these by hand because as they cook in the water, they are going to kind of wash all that off on their own and then we'll give them a final rinse in the sink just to make sure everything's okay. Being homeless sucks. Having a roof above your head for a night feels good. So you're content. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope things get better for you, friend. Oh my goodness. Oh! That was a giant fucking potato that just landed on my big toe and that did not feel good. Anyway, we're doing 10 golden potatoes right into the pot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And 10, so majority of the bag. All right, so once again, gonna fill it with water, pop them on the stove, I'll be RB. Um, L2 question for you, with the ratios that you gave me for the beets and the, the, uh, the taters, how many hard boiled eggs do you use? Cause I was thinking like, you know, like I'll, I'll probably make a whole bunch because I like to eat them. Um, but yeah, I just want to make sure I make enough. So just let me know. All right. And then the next thing we've got. Beets. These are focus on the beets. These are going to be gorgeous. Like three or four could be good. Okay, so instructions for the beets, which again, these are going in the Russian potato salad. Literally, just gonna be drop them in a pot, let them boil, and then just like the potatoes, we will peel. Peel, peel, peel. Super easy. Okay, three or four. Three or four eggs. Look at the beautiful color in these two guys. It's like this dark reddish purpley, and it is going to stain my hands a little bit, but that's okay. It's going to be fine. All right. Beautiful. All right. These hops out of the way. And then honestly, the rest of this is probably going to go pretty smoothly. So I'm just going to work on prep until all this stuff is done. So one more second. All right. So we got three pots of boiling water. So potatoes and beets, we're just going to check them until they're nice and soft and, you know, edible. Um, the eggs, the way that you do these hard boiled eggs is we are going to let the water boil before we put the eggs in. Putting them in the pot cold is what makes the, um, that little membrane inside the uh, egg kind of 
glue everything together. But if you drop them in hot, it doesn't have as much time to do whatever it does that causes the peel to stick. So we're gonna wait, we're gonna drop them in, we're gonna boil them for 13 minutes, take them off the heat, put them in an ice bath. Um, so yeah, that's basically what we're doing. In the meantime, we're gonna go ahead and prep a couple things and honestly, it's probably not gonna be a whole lot before we just scooch on over there and see what's going on. Didn't know that, I didn't know that until a few months ago. Yeah, and I, I found a recipe and was like, this is worth a shot and it freaking works. So yeah. All right, let me grab trash can. So the other things we are gonna need for our potato salad. I've got some really pretty English peas here. Hey, silent but ducky with that fart. How you doing, friend? So we've got peas. We've also got a carrot. So obviously I'm going to have to peel the carrot. So let me do that. And then we're going to cut this up into little bits. And I'm gonna have to do this in stages just because I don't have enough room on my stove. We're also gonna boil the carrots and the peas together for the Russian salad. I am super excited. All right. So yeah, like I said, guys, not a whole lot of like prep prep tonight. And a lot of it's going to be over here at the stove. I'm excited. Oh gosh. And the carrots are going to be colored. Oh, all the beet juice. Let me rinse this real quick. And that water from the beets is turning purple. It's pretty. I'm going to roll with it. Okay. So we're just gonna kind of cut this up into little sections first. Because I want this to cook quickly. I'm gonna use this and, or the, uh, I'm gonna cook the carrots and the peas at the same time. So we're gonna go ahead and dice these up into little I don't know, salad sized bites before we get them in the water. So everything kind of cooks at the same pace here. But yes, how is, how are Ducky and Hell Tennis tonight? Super glad you guys are here. All right. Chop these carrots right up. I'm hearing something boil. Or simmering at least. It's getting very, very close. All right. May have been bad and got Taco Bell. Oh. Did you get Fiesta potatoes? Cause the taters are back. I'm so happy the Fiesta potatoes are back. And we're good, we're good. Had a nice quiet day. So I felt really fancy, or well, I felt not as fancy as I should have been, I guess. Um, Cause I didn't think anything of this. This recipe calls for a uh, Swiss Emmental cheese. And I went to a couple different places just thinking like, oh, this will be easy to find because like in Atlanta, um, it's like stuff like that's not very hard to find. And I was like, it's a cheese. Everybody like, you know, it won't be hard to find. Oh, it's fucking hard to find here. So I ended up at the fancy as fuck fresh market that's about a 15 to 20 minute drive from my house. And I found the cheese, but I felt so out of place the entire time because it was like all these like snooty rich people buying their groceries or I don't know, like it just, it was just a very bizarre store to be in. I felt very out of place. And at the same time, 
I wanted to spend all my money on all the nice things and I probably don't need to go back to Fresh Market because that is dangerous for my wallet. Yeah, we fancy now. Oh, something's wrong. Hold up. All right. Caught the beats just in time. Yeah, fancy, fancy store. I'll show you guys the cheese here in a second because we are going to slice it up. Oh my god, I didn't even ask. They probably would have even thin sliced it for me if I was like, would you slice this for me, please? But no, we're, we're going to do it this way. It means more stream time, so whatever. We're the same way for a while, and we stopped getting their meat and had beans as substitutes haven't felt icky in a while. I've... What what do you what do you think about the uh, the vegetarian options at Taco Bell? Because I've I've seen like the it's like the bean chalupa or whatever, and their beans are decent. I just don't know anybody that's actually tried them, and I'm like I like meat, so okay, I need a bowl. All right. Carrots in. Carrots are in. I'm going to go ahead and dump the peas in here as well, just because it's one last thing I'm going to have to have out on the counter. We never get the meat so good. Okay. That explains all the tooting going on on Ducky's stream, so... Whatever they put on their lettuce that makes you sick. Yeah, Taco Bell meat's about half oats, so sometimes that can make people sick. Yeah, and I mean, I guess there's nothing wrong with that unless you have an oat allergy. So, yeah, be warned. All right. So, here's my fancy as fuck cheese, y'all. Look at that. This is a Swiss Emmental. Can, can confirm all the toots are fueled by Taco Bell. Oh gosh. Oh fancy, yeah. Yeah, we being fancy as fuck tonight. Cheese, yeah. This is gonna be, oh yeah. Mmm. So yeah, it kind of, it smells kind of like a Swiss, but not, I don't know. Okay, so rind right here. I don't want any rind getting on here. I'm gonna just cut that off. I'm gonna cut me a little piece just to, to have. I haven't had Taco Bell in two decades and my toots are still Taco Bell. Mm. Oh, that's going to be really good all melty. This isn't one that I would probably really like snack on. But to top something with and get all melty and wonderful. Oh, yeah, we're doing Oh, we're doing it that way. Love Swiss so much. Yeah. All right, so we're 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 going to do it this way. This is a very soft soft cheese so actually I'm gonna do it this way we're gonna cut it in half and we have to, you know if we have to lay it across in strips whatever we lay it across the the ham in strips it'll be fine it'll still taste the same oh yeah there we go that's how we want that nice thin slices brie cheese be the best cheese I like brie I like a good brie with like cranberries and walnuts and stuff like that. I should probably also do stuff where y'all can see it, huh? But yeah. Nice thin slices. And they're not perfectly thin, but you know what? Whatever. I like cheese, so it'll be fine. Provolone is better. I love a good smoky cheddar. Reese's Puffs, oh, Reese's Puffs, yes. Yes, yes, okay. 
This is probably where the cheese is going to hate me a little bit. It'll be okay. Yeah. Oh, the sugar. Yeah, I love me some Reese's Puffs. Love them, love them. All right. I'm going to very, very gently. Don't try this at home, kids. There we go. I think that's as thin as we're getting out of those. And then I'm going to move on to this other block. And... You know, I probably also could have shredded this. I'm thinking about that now, and I'm like, I'm dumb. Why, why didn't I just do it that way? But this will this will be fine. This will be fine. We can st still see all the pretty holes. Oh, God. Made Rice Krispies, but with Fruity Pebbles? Yes, and Cocoa Pebbles. I've done it with Reese's Puffs. Um, corn Corn Flakes is surprisingly good that way. Um, I've even done like, y'all know that booberry cereal they come out with for Halloween. I've done that too in like Rice Krispie form and oh my God. Hey, Venomous Gator, how you doing? Cooking's going well. We've got quite a few things boiling over here. And then we're going to get, or like, we're actually very close to scooting over to the uh, stove to do the rest of this because it's going to start, I think once this is done boiling, uh, stuff's going to come together very, very quickly. All right. Thank you for the Lurk Rogue. Love you. Enjoy dinner. Let me get a bag for the rest of this cheese and we'll move on. Doing good. Awesome. Cookie Crisp Krispies, oh my gosh. Why have I never thought of that? Ducky, you're brilliant. That sounds really good. Okay, get it. I'm gonna get a plate for the cheese. Oh, who's doing a tootin'? Venomous is doing a tootin'. <laughs> Coming in here and stinking up my stream, my goodness. All right, so that is all the chopping we gotta do, guys. So I'm gonna mix up the breading for our meal. And we're gonna scoot over here. This is gonna be easy. Kiddo says, night, mommy. Oh, good night, my sweet boy. Mm. He's staying with his grandparents, so I'm assuming his mamaw has called. All right, so we got just some, you can't really see, just some panko breadcrumbs. This is what we're going to bread our veal in. Dump some panko in the pan. Told him you said have a wonderful night. Oh, I miss my baby. I know he's having fun. Did he actually nap today? And we love him, of course. Yes. Love my boy. All right. So what we are doing for the breadings, we've got breadcrumbs. We've got adobo seasoning and I probably need to get in here all right excellent so basically recipe says liberally sprinkle with the adobo so that's what I'm doing I also need a little pinch of salt oh <coughs> <coughs> that is some some spicy spice all right I'm going to mix a little salt in there. Let me get a spoon. I am perfectly fine, L2. I, I took a shortcut. I got um, adobo with black pepper pre-mixed in because I was like, that's like one less thing I'll have to worry about remembering. And I'm good good just you know <clears throat> choking to death it's fine it's gonna be fine um okay so the other thing I'm gonna do before we make our way over here is I am gonna get the veal cutlets just out I'm gonna put them on a plate because they came frozen you can only get frozen veal in our area oh wait wait wait, wait. we gotta tenderize these we're not ready to move yet we are not right here <laughs> 
Ringo. Let me show you all what we're working with. We had these beautiful thin sliced veal cutlets and we are going to tenderize these and I'm actually doing this on stream because like I said, kid is at his grandparents so we don't have to worry about the, you know, <laughs> I don't have to worry about making a bunch of noise pounding the meat. So I'll be right back. forget I'm actually gonna look at the recipe because LT used a very funny word for this it's a very funny word what was the word he used tenderize the veal cutlets with one of those spiky hammer things Spiky hammer thingies. So Queen of Books, uh, this is actually not Bambi. That is venison. Veal is um, baby cow. Become meat Thor. Ah! Anyway, all right, I'm fine. I'm just a little crazy, guys. Um, let me grab a plate and let me Put something down to kind of tenderize these. Yeah, small moo, mini moo, small moo moo. Small young cow, yeah, it's, it's very, very young cow. So don't judge me too harshly, but if you've never had it, it's delicious. Um, okay, yeah, wax paper and a plate and we're good. Oh shit, I thought you said venison. No, but I do love venison. Papa Jedi's dad um, actually is a very good deer hunter, and so we do have some frozen venison in the fridge right now. Little moon tasty as well? Yeah. All right. Let me grab plates. I'm just gonna pile these up too, because you know what? It's fine. This is just like a little station for a plate of small moose. So you still need to try venison? Yes, you do, Ducky. It's so good. Where are my kitchen scissors? I seem to have lost my kitchen skizzers. And yes, I, I'm fully aware of the fact that I said skizzers, but it's fine. We'll make it work. I'll just cut a notch here and we'll get it out that way. Yes, venison is deer. And if you've never had it or you've never had deer jerky, oh my gosh. Okay, so these are already somewhat tenderized, so I may not have to do a whole lot here. Let me see. Don't try this at home, kids. Only once, but deer jerky is yum. Yeah. Love deer jerky. Deer sausage. Yeah, um, Papa Jedi's dad makes that from scratch. Like, he adds all the seasonings and stuff to it, and oh, man. It's so good. I need the, oh yeah, it's like barely tenderized. We can, we can do better than this. We can do much better than this. Okay, this little guy right here, I'm gonna just go ahead and pop off because I want this to cook evenly. So we'll have like little baby uh, veal nugget to try this. Okay guys, I don't know how loud this is gonna be on stream, so I apologize in advance, but here we go. Actually, I'm just kidding. We're not done prepping things because we've got to get our french fries ready, guys. I almost forgot the other starchy bit. Oh my gosh. I was like, this is, this is going way too fast. 
guys. It's going so fast. A-okay from Spiky Hammer Thingy. All right. Get that over here on the plate and get my last two. I'm really glad I have had an extra cutting board on standby too because yeah, I am gonna have to wash my knife, but it'll be okay. It'll be totally okay. All right, thank you for the alert, Queen of Books. Enjoy. All right, so some of these are cut just a wee bit wonky, but it's fine. It's gonna taste the same. Why do you hit it with the spiky hammer thing? So it helps break down any tough spots in the meat and it helps you also pound it to the same thickness. So like you see here, I've got a really, really thin end and then over on this side, it's a lot thicker. So it's gonna help you get that even thickness. It's gonna cook more evenly um, and it just makes it tender and wonderful. This is already, yeah, they've already done some tenderizing here, so I'm not having to do, I'm not having to like put in as much effort with this as you would if you got like just a cut of it that's not been tenderized. So I'm kind of just like pressing it out, making sure it's all a nice even thickness. Because like right here, all that good stuff. It doesn't need much. It's not, like it's it's really giving where it's already got a little bit of tender tenderization going. Okay, let me put this in the sink. This is going in the garbage. They're done a bit already. Yeah. So I I didn't think they were, but I pulled them out of the package and kind of spread them out, and it was like, oh, these are already. It wasn't the best job, but yeah. All right. Let me move this. I'm gonna take this cutting board to the sink because now it's got um, baby moo moo juice on it. Um, I will wash my hands, grab another cutting board. We're gonna peel the, or prep the potatoes I almost forgot about. That would have been a sad day. Okay. You start doing it, might as well do all of it right. Like that was, and, and that's from like our local like good butcher shop. Like why half-ass it? I don't know. But anyway, so for potatoes, we need a bowl. This all makes sense in a minute, I promise guys. I'm gonna need a bowl. I'm gonna put all the taters in the bowl. Now L2, I'm, I'm kind of, I'm going a little rogue here. I'm not, I'm, I'm adding a step because if you guys want crispy potatoes, soak your fries in water before you fry them. And then of course you want to dry them off, but soaking them in the water before you fry them is actually gonna pull out a lot of the excess starch that's on the surface. Um, starch can make things a little bit gummy. Um, so if you soak that away, you're going to get a much nicer, crispier outside on these. So I'm going to move this. I'm going to grab some potatoes. Yay! I didn't put my peeler away yet. That's good. Get this back. Make sure I am following the recipe properly. You know how to do french fries, do you think? No worries. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, so grab some taters. All right, these are russet potatoes, guys, and I am going to be peeling these. So again, not washing them because we're peeling them, we're soaking them in water. I'm gonna do a final rinse of them so they will clean themselves, basically. Um, things where you're putting in the potato skins, you definitely want to worry about, you know, 
making sure that you get everything washed and peeled and all that. But in this instance, we're going to kind of let the, the normal process do a bunch of that work for us. Yeah, russets. I, I, I prefer russets for french fries. They just, they come out so good every single time. We get a little weird spot on the end of this potato, but that's okay. I don't blanch them, but we're going to soak them in some water and give them a good rinse before we fry them. And just out of my own experience, that's the best way to get the crispy fries that I have found. But I've heard blanching works very well as well. I also have like all my pots on the stove right now. So we're just, we're, we're going to do a good soak. All right. We got a little weird end. We're going to have to cut off of this one. Need to sit down and watch some cooking videos. You barely know how to cook. I was very lucky that I have my mom and my two grandmothers who taught me a lot. And you know, like my, my mamma was, you know, like just good, good, good Southern cooking lady. So I learned a lot of stuff from her as a kid. Learned a whole lot from her. Oh, and I'm excited too, guys, because when we get to the end of this, this is this is just so characteristically L2, and it makes me happy. He gave me a wine to pair it with as well. So we've got an uh, Argentinian Malbec that we're going to drink with this. So I'm very, 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 very excited. Yeah, and it was it, there, there wasn't a whole lot of selection when it came to Malbecs, but I did find some. So I was like, yes, and it's not a wine I've ever tried before, so I'm very excited to see what it tastes like. Let me just do this over the trash can because it's a bunch of little ends. Okay. So there we go. Nothing perfect. Like It's going to have some little spots. It's fine. I think the skin adds some flavor, so I'm not super worried about it. Let me grab, whoop, taters everywhere. Oh Lord, okay. Let me grab a knife and we're gonna chop, chop, chop. Mother and I went and visited my grandparents. I guess I needed sleep because I ended up falling asleep on the couch. Oh, gosh. All right. So L2 said when he does this, he usually cuts these, quote, a bit thicker than McDonald's French fries. So I'm going to go for, I usually do like a wedge style French fry, but I'm going to try to get these as thin as possible. Because dang it, like really nice crispy french fries with a good potato salad and all this yumminess. I want to add some texture to it. And it sounds like it's just going to be so good. Okay. Nice thin tater slices. And we're just going to slice them up. All right. So yeah. So nice thin potatoes. Usually wedge to accept when you make this dish. Yeah. Seems like it's going to be really good. I'm excited. <coughs> Ringo. Shh. Ringo just is like dying to tell you all hi, apparently. <laughs> <coughs> Nice, thin, crispy fries. This is going to be great. Oh, I'm so excited for this, y'all. I am going to go ahead while I'm working on this. I'm going to get my eggs in the water, or in the uh, water over here, because it is starting to boil. 
And I'm gonna set a timer for 13 minutes and then we'll come back and resume. Are the fries your favorite part? I have no idea. I've never actually made this before. This was this was requested by L2, and he thought we would enjoy it. So I am trying this for the first time ever. I'm really, really super excited for this. <laughs> but I do love good homemade French fries, so I can't speak to that part. I love making homemade fries. Ringo, I did not drop any potato skins for you now. Please get out. Ringo, please go get on your bed. Go. This dog, y'all. Oh my God, it's a social litman. How you doing, friend? Welcome, welcome. How have you been? It's been a little bit. Only eight, it feels around 11, it's nine here. Social Lipman, we are making Milanesa con huevos. So, long story short, Russian potato salad on one side of the plate, French fries on the other side of the plate, uh, topped with a breaded veal cutlet, ham, Emmental cheese, and then topped with a sunny side up egg. I am gonna be so fat when I finish eating this and I am gonna have no regrets whatsoever. It's going to be wonderful. And you know, I'm may not, I don't know, may not even do all these potatoes. So I may just freeze some of these because this is making a shit ton of fries. Making a whole bunch. It's going to be beautiful. I'm just going to do that. We'll have like one little. You know, if a few are smaller and get extra crispy, that's okay with me for sure. All right, I can already tell I sliced this wedge just a wee bit thicker. I think it'll be okay. No, we're gonna we're gonna flip those and cut them in half. Yeah, that's that's too thick. Terrible Latino. What is Milanesa? <laughs> you know, huevos and papas fritas. Uh, Milanesa is a breaded veal cutlet, right? Am I right, L two? Um, so L2S Entertainment redeemed this. This is a Uruguayan recipe and his mother is from Uruguay and they make this for special occasions and he wanted to share it with everybody. Now, I'm not at all Latino, but I love trying all the food. So I'm really excited. It's like steak and eggs, sort of? This is like gonna be steak and eggs on fucking steroids is, is what this is looking like to me. So I'm excited. Honestly, given how many other things we're gonna be consuming, just like this one thing of, or this one potato may be all we need for these fries to work. Because I feel like fries is one of those things, it's like, you know, you can refrigerate some things, but like, don't eat old fries. Ugh. Freeze them. Oh, good evening, beautiful, that one guy's wife. How you doing? How are you, sweet lady? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to, because this is, if you think about it, this is a decent amount. We're making a shit ton of food. Like a shit ton of food. Be making Big Red Squid your hype man proud. I, dude, I mean, you're in the Discord. You see how much stuff Squid posts. It makes me fucking hungry. 
Makes me so fucking hungry. He tortures me. In the best way. Okay. It's got our lovely thin cut fries here. I, like I said, I'm just gonna cover these with some cold water and we are gonna let these soak while we work on some other things because our potatoes should be close to being done, our beets should be close to being done, and then we've just got a few minutes on the eggs, so we will focus on um, getting the salad together, and then we'll come back to the fries and then the veal. All right. Hey, that one guy, how you doing, my friend? Just got back from taking little man to the park. He rode the swing for the first time. Oh, that's awesome. And yeah, agreed. I want his griddle. Okay, BRB. All right, so let me show you guys this. You see how the water is already cloudy? That is all that excess starch coming out of the potatoes. Starch is the enemy, crispy French fries. So yeah, all right. Ringo, can I help you with something, honey? Do you want more food? Do I need to give you more food? Okay, my dog needs me, guys. Give me two seconds. Don't be so loud. You get the name now? Yeah, so there's that one guy, that one guy's wife, and it was super adorable. That one guy was on um, Gilded Troll for a one shot. His entire family made Twitch accounts, so it was like that one guy's wife, that one guy's eldest son, that one guy's mom. Like, it was it was just so cute. Like, they all kept with the, the theme of the username, and I just thought it was absolutely precious. So... Yeah. All right. I'm going to get these two potatoes in a bag and probably just throw them in the freezer. Um, so they're out of the way. And then we're going to move this way. Mama Guac, no, you're not super late at all. I was late. It's all good. We're, we're trucking along and yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. How are you beautiful? I had, yeah. Also like Mama Guac was uh, the other person that you guys saw playing uh, Dead by Daylight with us the other night, and I love her, so, yeah. All right. I may have to take a Benadryl. I'm struggling. Just a wee bit. Okay. So, yeah, Tater's in the freezer. Because here's a crazy thing, and I didn't know this until recently, guys. Did you know that, like, potatoes are one of the easiest way to get food poisoning? So, like, if you cook a potato and it sits out because of the, like, structure of the potato, it harbors bacteria very, very easily. So you don't want to eat potatoes that have been sitting out for too long. Just got to your parents. They watched daughter while you went furniture shopping all day. Yay! Getting stuff for the house. I'm excited for you. Okay. Let me think if there's anything else we need to do before we move. There is one thing. Yep, I did not know that until my grandfather got food poisoning because he ate some french fries that had been sitting out on his kitchen counter for like two hours. And yeah, so he went to the doctor, you know, what was going on. They're like, yeah, you got food poisoning. Don't eat old fries. Usually venomous, the, the threshold for stuff, um, you know, you don't want to have sit, anything sitting out at room temperature for more than like two hours. That's kind of like that danger zone that you get into. Um, could be a little bit less for potatoes though. So just if it's cold, it's if it's been sitting out at room temperature, do not recommend. Honey never goes bad. Yes, they found it in the tombs of like the pharaohs and stuff and it's still good. I think that is so cool. One last thing. Uh, yeah. 
them all over the place, guys. Yeah, no, 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 no. Cooked, cooked potatoes specifically. All right, so we're going to do... All right, so for the liquid part of the veal, two eggs. We're going to do two eggs, and then we're going to do milk. Whoa, that one. That is why you crack on a different surface than the bowl you're going into, because I almost had, like, a shit ton of egg go in there. And I still had a shell get in, so we're going to pluck that out. Wash my hands and get the milk. making meat, fries, and eggs. So Venomous, we're also making a potato salad to go with this. So we've got like double the tater going on. Oh shit, yep. And then I'm gonna need to get an ice bath for my eggs ready because we got about three minutes left on those. The egg ice bath is very, very important because that will stop the cooking process. It will, again, keep the shell from sticking. And when you combine that with the hot start of putting them into already simmering water, they come out perfect. I'm super excited. Never had po food poisoning from potatoes, but now they have a mold in them. It's hard to spot when it's early, like a white shade on the potato. I always cut that out. I didn't know that. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to have leftovers, which is why I'm only doing one potato's worth of fries because I'm like, oh shit, we're going to have so much food to eat. How dare you call me a nerd? Mama Guac, you're a nerd. I love you, you nerd. <laughs> it's fine, you're among friends here. You don't, you don't have to be in denial about it. Okay, let me see what we need to do. Ice bath, right. Right, right, right. That thing, I keep saying we're gonna do. I have nothing suitable for an ice bath. making a small mess it's it's everything's under control all right ice bath ice it's it's ice water it's just ice water okay i think this is about to go off let me get these in the ice bath, and then I'll roll you guys over here to see what we're doing. And Ringo says hi yet again. What, dog? Okay, guys. Ringo wants ice cubes too. I mean, one fell on the floor. You can take it if he wants. Ringo's just saying hello to you because you're late. He's been loud this whole time, but yeah, we'll go with it. All right. Get this dirty cutting board out of the way. I'm going to scoot you all. Yeah, Ringo's a good boy. He's just loud. Woo. 
What did you miss? Uh, we got our fries in water. They are soaking to kind of pull out any excess starch. We've got the liquid part for our Milanesa. And I'm about to roll you all over to the stove. We've got the eggs out of the boiling water. They are cooling off. And I think next step is we're gonna work on our potato salad. Yep, bork bork. I'm tired and cold, those humans have food. What's the worst that could happen 10,000 years later? Bark at the air just because, yup. Yup. I love my bark at the air just because, boy, he's funny though. But a leaf blew through the yard, it might be dangerous. Yep. All right, guys, bear with me because I am gonna have to scoot you all. So video has a tendency to kind of lock up on me when we do this, so if, if it happens, just bear with me. And yeah, Ringo says, bear with me. Must alert master might get treat. Yeah, kind of. <sighs> oh no, I said the word. I said the word, social it now. <gasps> Why you do this to me? Now he wants, he wants the T word. Okie dokie. We're gonna try a slightly different angle here okay and I'm just gonna put this in the center okay laptop is plugged back in whoa I'm smacking into things Messed up and forgot to play The Witcher for you one more time before it left Game Pass. No, it's so good. It's so good. Okay. So. I'm going to dump this pot of water here. I'm going to get a fresh pot of water boiling again so we can get our carrots and peas cooking. And we're going to check on the potatoes and the beets. One of these streams, Ringo's going to sneak a bite of the food she's making. Maybe. Yeah, I mean, stuff falls on the floor and he snatches it. All right, and I'll, I'll uh, kind of let the camera show y'all what we're doing here in just a second. So back onto the stove we go. Let that boil. I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna get another bowl and we're gonna check on our potatoes and our beets. See what we got going on here. Oh shit, Ginger with Souls is raiding. Let's get a shout out with Ginger with Souls. Welcome in, raiders. I am about to show you guys what we're doing here. Oh shit, thank you so much, dude. Hello, Wabajack. Ginger with Souls, thank you for that six month resub, my friend. How you doing? How'd the rest of the stream go? Did you win the game? Wow, Jack has redeemed Hydrate. Hey, it's the other alley lot. Went great, but you are beat. Oh no. Oh, that's empty. I'll hydrate in just a moment. Thank you, Wabba Jack. Now you got your butt kicked. Oh no. Hey, Alan man. All right, guys, I've got beets boiling. I've got all kinds of stuff going on over here. Let me grab things. Yeah, that's done. I'm gonna pop these in a bowl. I was warned this entire potato salad is going to take on a pinkish purplish tinge because of these beautiful beets. Thank you for doing another shout out for pop or for a uh, ginger bear papa. That one guy, damn it, I lost the game. Why? Why would you do that? Unfair. Okay, actually, 
actually, here's what I'm going to do. Okay. Becomes like fuchsia pink. Bears beats Battlestar Galactica. Yeah. Hey, night, night. How are you, my friend? So I'm going to actually put these beets in a colander and run them under some cold water so it's a little bit safer to handle them because now we've got to get the outside off and uh, get them chopped in a bowl. So let's do that. Whoa, over the sink because it's all purple. Oh my lord. easy to handle now. So, purple on my hands. I'm going to get something to scrape these peels off with. I'm going to dump the extra beet water in the sink. The water itself is like brown, it's not purple. All right, so let's work on the beets and then we will work on the rest. I'm blocking my way to like half my shit. Yeah. I'm gonna try something here. But honestly, that peel is just popping right off, so this may not be too hard to do. Let's see. Oh yeah, that's just that's just coming right off. If it stains my hands, then fuck it, it stains my hands, whatever. I don't care. Yeah, that just slides right off. Okay, excellent. Whee! My gosh, I just like looked at the stream and realized these things look like just pitch black and this looks terrible and probably a little bit horrifying, but it'll be okay. <laughs> All right. We got beets. Beets, beets, beets. Okay. Oh, I've made a huge mess. Oh my. going to do the same thing with the potatoes. I'm going to get them in the colander, going to rinse them under some cold water. While that's going, we will chop these up. Looks like someone got murdered. It looks pretty bad, doesn't it? Okay, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try to do this all on one plate because I am running out of cooking utensils. Okay, so beets, they're really pretty. They're really, really pretty. I wish you guys could see the actual color a little bit better. Moita! And this is how we cook the bodies. Yep, yep, no, no, just beets, just beets. Nothing illegal going on here, y'all. Nothing illegal whatsoever. Fuck it, my hands are gonna be purple after this. I don't give a fuck, it's my favorite color. Chonkier with the potatoes and beets, okay. I'm trying to like cut them up so that they, so I can kind of like get a little bite of everything. But yeah, if you do, if you do chonky, we'll do chonky. Well, it's still not very chonky, but it'll be delicious. 
So I've eaten beets before. This may be the, the first time I've ever actually cooked with them. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go for a little more chonk on this guy. Yeah, there we go. There's bean a moita. <laughs> Let's see. Oh my gosh, there's so much exactly what a criminal would say. Nothing illegal going on here. Shh. Shh. It looks red, not purple. Oh, that's a hot beat. Hot, hot beat. Okay, I'm just going to do it this way. And boop. Boop. It's fine. It's fine. Gordon Ramsay isn't here to yell at me and tell me it looks like shit, so it's fine. Yeah, that one got a little wild on us. Ah. All right. One more beat half to go. Hey, Lord Gold, how you doing? I'm a fucking do I I'm a fucking donut and a miserable excuse for a cook. Thank you, Phoenix. Oh, I hear water boiling, which means we're about ready to get the peas in the peas and carrots into the pot. It's fucking raw! Oh my god. So, um, everything's totally fine. Totally fine. Y'all want to see? My hands have a slight purpley hue to them on my fingertips now, but it's fine. Totally doing stuff out of order, too. I was going to get the potatoes out. Damn it. It's fine. plate one more knife we're gonna do this my carrots are boy or my water is boiling for my carrots so we're about ready to go okay i'm gonna put the carrots and peas in cut the heat a little bit now we're gonna scoot this to the side we're gonna peel and chop our taters now, L2, you said you take the skins off of the potatoes as well, right? Okay. No skin. Shit, these are the, the skin is not coming off of these. I may have to do it with skin. No skin in yours. <laughs> it, it, it may have to happen tonight, guys, because I don't know why these skins are really sticking. I probably should have peeled them ahead of time, but too late for that now, so. The skin is tasty. See, that's my thing. I enjoy the skin. And I usually also chop my potatoes. See, because they're... This is why I eat... Uh... So, doing this again, if I was going to go completely skinless, I would definitely chop that and boil it ahead of time. Okay, those are cooking nicely. Yeah, these, these are just going to have to go in as is. So, hate the skin of potatoes? What? 
but the potato skins are delicious. They add flavor and that's where all the nutrients are as well. Nice big chonky potatoes as we were instructed by Mr. L2. Hey, Yagi! Yeah, taters, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. Except this time we're boiling them and we're sticking them in a tater salad. I may have made way too many potatoes for this, but we'll see. Did I miss your answer? Yeah, L2, they're not peeling. It's like literally pulling the potato apart. So they are going to they are going to be skin on just so I don't completely massacre them. Oh, thank you for the bits, Yogi. That's a hot fucking potato. Thank you for those bitties though. I appreciate ya. Mm. They're the fart. It's fine. It's fine. They're yummy with skins too. Yeah, I'm like, you know what? I, I typically like the skins on anyway, so I'm good with it. I'm gonna probably need a bigger bowl for this. Cause I did not think about the crazy amount of taters I'm sticking in this. Everything's fine. I'm not totally screwing up this lovely recipe that L2 gave me. It's fine. This may just be dump everything in here and then go grab a giant bowl to put it all in. Because, oh my god. Oh, peas are ready. Ringo, stay. Yeah, once we get like the egg and stuff in there, I'm gonna need a much bigger bowl for this. Holy crap. <laughs> oh my God. I'm scared now, guys. Like, I don't know. Maybe I let the potatoes go just like a touch too long or something. It's a lot of food. Oh my God. Okay. We'll see how this ends up going. Yeah, I'm just gonna pile everything in this bowl and then here in a second, I'll scoot it and we'll go get a bigger bowl. <laughs> Or, Papa Jedi, are you there? Are you available? Gonna lurk for a bit to wind down and eat. Thank you, Ginger. Want taters so bad now? L2, I've got like a fucking feast going on here. Please come get some. You did this to yourself? <laughs> it's gonna be delicious though. I'm really super excited for this. Yeah, I had, uh, we did garlic, garlic and Gruyere mashed taters last night for dinner with some steak. So we're just doing all the taters this weekend because it's vacation. So why not? All right, taters. I've got like two left, but like honestly, that's that's so much. Okay, let me get my glasses up on my face first of all. Horrible tomato. Thank you for that four month resub, my friend. How you doing? Yes, we making food. It's gonna be great. Oh Lord, oh Lord. 
There's so much going on. This is this is very involved. All right, guys. I'm going to have to One moment, please. There we go. Now I can fish the rest of that up pretty easily. I'm glad you think it's fun, Sisla. I feel very out of my element right now, but I'm glad y'all are at least enjoying it. Okay. Setup is now in your bedroom. Yay! Wonderful. Pop some cod in the oven. Yum. Okay. So the last thing we need to do, guys, and then, well, let me go get a giant ass bowl for all this because holy shit, this is a ton of salad. I'll be right back. Um, we're going to cut the eggs up and then we'll get the salad mixed. Yes, ass bowl. Thank you. giant fucking bowl. This is the biggest bowl I have. So let me just dump all this on in here. Those of you that are just joining, you can see we've got beets. Beets, bears, Battlestar Galactica. Um, actually, beets, potatoes, uh, carrots, peas. We're going to add some sliced, chopped up, hard-boiled egg. Um, and then we're done with, we're going to mix some mayo in and I think we're done with this. Let me double check. But I think we're done. Woo! Okay. So we need pepper, salt, and an olive oil based mayo. L2 did stress the olive oil based part. Oh my God, tomato, you need to eat, sir. I haven't eaten much today because I was, but it was because I knew I was making so much friggin' food. So, you know, all right. Let me grab a spatula. Okay. So this part, we're just eyeballing. Now I have been told this shit's gonna turn bright pink or even purple. Let's see what happens when we start. No, we need eggs. What am I doing? I need eggs. We're not done yet. All right, guys. So. I'm going to move my salt and stuff. Hard boiled eggs. You guys want to see. So what we did, if you're just joining us. I do my hard boiled eggs a little bit differently. So I don't start them in cold water. I start them in boiling water, reduce it to a simmer, boil for 13 minutes, let them sit in an ice bath until we are ready to peel them. And the reason for that is because generally, your shell's just, just gonna pop right off. Let me see if I can get this in the, okay. See this? That shell just comes right off. Zero issues. No broken eggs. 
everything looks pretty. Why is it not focusing? Oh. All right. There's the air pocket I was looking for. Sometimes you still got to kind of find the air pocket and peel a little bit. But stuff doesn't stick to the egg. It just comes right off. I'm a witch. I am not a witch. Right. Right off. Seriously. Get your water hot first and then do an ice bath. It makes such a huge difference. I thought, I thought she was a donut. <laughs> I'm a donut. Ah. Okay. So I'm going to leave two in there because those are going in the fridge for probably my breakfast tomorrow. So, so we're going to slice this up. I also want to show you guys the inside of these eggs because, you know, it's very easy to overcook egg yolks. No nasty gray ring, just beautiful creamy egg yolk. So we're going to just dice. I believe LT said four of these. And I dice them up, toss them in our salad, and it's gonna be lovely. Need to do it the way you do it, they look so perfect. I like I said, I did not learn that trick until maybe a year ago, and it is such a game changer. I mean, just look at that, guys. Just look at that. If you like hard-boiled eggs, they just, and the flavor comes out so good. Oh, hey, Jables. How are you, my sweet friend? Welcome, welcome. Yes. Ah, yes, Jables is here. Hey, we used the sounder properly. Yay, good job, guys. Jables, how are you doing today? I feel like I've, like, barely talked to you for a little bit. I am so sorry, but hi. I'm doing great. We're about to mix up this delicious-looking beet and potato and carrots and peas and egg salad. And then we're going to move on to making the french fries and the veal, and then we'll be ready to eat. You're amazing, and I love you. Anyway, to reheat food where it tastes the same when it's first cooked. So that is a very, very hard question. Do you have a particular food you are referring to, Venomous? Because it is possible with some things but a lot of it's going to depend on the recipe and the way that you go about it. How was the anniversary? It was good. We made steaks. It was a good time. My mom, um, my mom made us like basically a little recreation of our wedding cake, which was red velvet cake with chocolate frosting. Because I was like, I don't, I don't, I don't want a white wedding cake. That's, boring and I like chocolate so our wedding cake was red velvet and then it had um chocolate frosting and like red carnations all over it so yeah red velvet is delicious my mom and my mom made our wedding cake she she's a baker I I learned a lot from my mom um but my mom made our wedding cake and she makes the best freaking red velvet in the world like one of my friends uh, was there and her now husband does not like red velvet like at all and he didn't think he was gonna like the cake and he liked it so much that they they hired her to make that same red velvet cake for her or for their wedding so yeah even like the not red velvet people like my mom's red velvet cake it was so good I had some for breakfast this morning with coffee and oh No specific type of food, food just want it perfect if you reheat it where it doesn't lose any flavor. So, best advice, salt, 
don't microwave it. Microwaving makes stuff soggy. Put it in the oven, reheat it in an air fryer if it's something that you can like reasonably get in an air fryer because, um, oh gosh, who is it? If anybody watches Worst Cooks in America, um, what's her name? Ann Burrell. She says this all the time. Brown food tastes good. So if you get a little extra crisp on there, you know, you can salt to taste, but like getting things like reheated crispy to where they're not going to get soggy is honestly, I feel like the key to reheating food correctly. Okay. This is so much food. I'm going to hold this up and let y'all see how big this fucking bowl is. This is almost filled all the way up with potato salad. But we're just going to stir and stir and supposedly this entire thing. Yep. There it goes. It's turning foible. I'm really excited for this. Oh my God, my like camera can't even see this. Hang on, let me see if I can prop this on something so y'all can see what's going on. There we go. Ah! Ass bowl is very big, yes. It, like I said, big ass bowl. It is all turning bright pink, oh my gosh. I'm gonna go ahead and salt and pepper now so it can kind of season as we're going. Oh my God. I'm really excited about this. Hey, Rexy, how are you doing, lady? It's looking great. I'm, like I said, L2, I have like, other than the picture you sent me, which I don't think included a Russian salad, I have like no context for this. So I'm like, please let this come out good. I'm a scared. I'm a big old scaredy cat right now. What in the Sam Hill is going on here? Rexy, we are making a Russian potato salad. This has beets, uh, boiled golden potatoes, uh, hard boiled egg, peas, carrots, salt, pepper, and an olive oil mayo. It's looking perfect. Aw, thanks. Not gonna lie, I got a little discouraged there for a second when the uh, taters didn't peel. Okay. Oh my god, it's like bright fucking pink. This is crazy. Yeah, the camera, ha, <laughs> you clipped it. The, the camera had a mind of its own and was like, that looks fucking good and just tried to dive right in. Okay. I think I want to do just a little bit more mayo and then I'm gonna. There we go. So you kind of see it a little bit better. This looks so bizarre, but I'm really excited to try it. Moida and ass bowls. Yeah, we've also had Moida and ass bowls going on. So it is savory. So we're, we're seasoning this with like salt, pepper, all that good stuff. Um, so we're going to pair this with French fries. Um, we're making a dish called Milanesa con huevos, which uh, L2 requested that I cook. Um, so it's going to be this Russian potato salad topped with, oh my God, it's like, it's getting hot pink. This is so crazy. Really intense reverb on the mic. Oh, that may be because I'm stirring on the same thing I got the mic on. Hang on. There we go. Let's let y'all see what I'm doing here. Sort of. Okay, I'm going to taste test this. It's so pink. Holy shit. Look at this. Okay, let's try this. Let's see how it is. I'm excited. Okay, so this is part one of our Milanesa. Con huevos. And what's, what's the word for french fries? Fritas? Oh man. Okay. I'm going to bite with the beat. Guys, this looks bizarre, but it is so good. So you get like, you get like that creaminess from the potatoes, a little bit of sweetness from the beets and the peas and carrots. And then you get that texture of the hard boiled egg in there. I, mm, okay. 
I'm gonna stop because I will eat this whole fucking bowl. This is delicious, guys. Okay. Let me get it. <coughs> Ringo, that was me. <coughs> Yeah, the meats are what give it that bright pink color. It's so good. Okay, I'm gonna put. Piper just ran into the room with me. She was responding to Ringo. Ringo, Piper says hi. Now you you you've stirred up enough trouble, honey. All right. Yeah, this is good, guys. This is really good. Okay, I'm gonna move this to the side. Ringo, I swear to God. I swear, dog. Enough. Okay. Hey Ringo, everybody said you can start or stop barking now. Thank you. Do you need to like go outside or something? Because you can go bug your dad about that. Um. Seriously, dog, go outside. <laughs> I'm sorry your dog got the zoomy sisla, my bad. Oh no. I'm I'm so terribly sorry. All right, gotta rearrange stuff. So let me get you all over here by the stove because it's time for part two. She's super cute when she zoomies. Oh, he's got neighborhood dogs stirred up is the problem now. All right, y'all. So here's what we're doing. I am going to heat this on medium low and get myself back in the camera here. All right, so we're heating this on medium low and we are going to use, now let me preface this by saying you cannot do this with just any olive oil. This is, this is Ringo being a butt. Enough. You can talk to your dad about that as the most parent thing I've ever heard, right? Okay, but anyway, also, hi, Ramber, how are you? Um, but yeah, we are doing, okay, so we've got extra light frying olive oil. Make sure that if you guys get olive oil to fry with, it says specifically that it is for frying or you're gonna have a bad time. All of, most olive oil, like extra virgin olive oil, has a very low smoke point and you're gonna get a nasty burned flavor if you try to fry with it. This is made specifically for high heat, so it is safe to use. So, all that being said, let me get this in the pan, and we're gonna heat this up until it's nice and shimmery. And then we'll get our veal breaded. Doing well, wonderful. Glad you're here. All right, so we're gonna fill the bottom of the pan with this. I'm gonna get another pan ready heating with oil for the french fries. All right, quick wash. Hi, Bladed Nasty, how you doing? Yes, you've got to have a very, very good, you gotta have an oil with a high smoke point if you're gonna be frying stuff. Now, I will need this later, I'm setting that here. I'm gonna use the rest of the olive oil in this pan along with some vegetable oil to fry up our french fries. Now this part's probably gonna go pretty quick guys because we're just frying things real fast here. So, perfect. I think we'll probably need to do the fries in like just a couple batches. But yeah, we're gonna be ready to eat soon. I'm excited. Okay. Also, guys, 
I feel like I, I, we, we, this has turned into a lot of we're frying things, cooking streams. What do we do with a grease fire? Because not enough people know this and it's really important. So, so yeah, what do we do with a grease fire? How do we get that out safely? Who remembers? Hot quiz. Yes, suffocate it, cut the heat, no water. I have also heard you can use flour, but I feel like it's an unnecessary step. Smothering it, keeping the oxygen from getting to the flame is key. Yeah, choke that bitch out. No water, never ever water, correct. Yes, yay. And that is my PSA for the day, guys, and I'm gonna shush now. Wonderful, all righty. So, I have a very awkward setup here. Very awkward setup, but we're going to make this. Yeah, flour is flammable. Yeah, that just, I've heard that, but I'm like, how could that really, anyway. All right. This is getting shimmery. I'm going to grab my veal. And those of you that are just joining us, look at these beautiful veal cutlets. We are going to be breading and frying up. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk on kitchen safety. <laughs> all right, so we're just going to give it a moment for all of this to heat up. Been playing Assassin's Creed Black Flag. Ooh, I think that's the last Assassin's Creed I've actually played. Yeah, splashing burning oil is bad times. Yes. All right, I am gonna go ahead and start my oven. So I'm just heating that to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm also gonna check on my fries. So the fries, we have had soaking in water. I am not gonna put this over the stove to show you guys because water plus grease, like, like we said, bad time. You gotta have a bad time. It makes things splatter. It's just not good. So I am gonna rinse these fries, get them on a plate to dry them off, and then we're gonna be good to go. And Bladed Nasty's farting it up. Thank you. Last one was Syndicate, before that one was Black Flag. Yeah, I've just not played a whole lot of them. I, I don't know. I, I felt like, I don't know. <laughs> Altair is awesome, Etsy is awesome, and then it, like, I like, I, I can appreciate what they were trying to do with the series, but it just got to a point where it's like, this isn't, this doesn't even feel like Assassin's Creed anymore to me, like, so, I kind of just lost interest. Only 22k more points till I can send you one of the family recipes, ooh, yay! the heat down for the french fries. We are getting a lovely, lovely shimmer on this. Played two, four, and syndicate. I have three, so I might play that someday. It's a good one. Mm. Yes, water with oil is why turkeys burn houses down. Yes. This information was pounded into my head by my mother who actually had a turkey catch fire once. So yeah. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to get these breaded and we're going to get them in. New games are too RPG-like for you. Yeah, and I enjoy an RPG, but if I'm playing an Assassin's Creed game, I expect that Assassin's Creed feel, and I just don't get it from the new ones. All right. So, veal is going to, I know you guys can't really see what I'm doing, but the veal is going to go in the egg mixture. And then we're going to press all the crumbs that we can into every little nook and cranny of these guys. All right, I think we're going to do these one at a time because they're very, very thin. All right, so guys. 
Last thing for oil safety, lay it away from you. You want the splatters to not come anywhere near you, just like that. You want it to splatter away. I'm going to wash my hands. until it looks brown, then we're gonna flip it, and then we'll move on to the next one. Hey, sniping, how you doing? Mazda B series truck is a Mazda except for all the Ford parts inside. <laughs> oh. Can't cook, but I have random food safety instilled in my head because of the other half. Yeah, that's what we want. Yeah, it'll shrink up. Joking about sharing my 22K with Cicely so she could receive a recipe. Aw. Should do some cooking. Yeah, make yourself something to eat. Eating is important. Take care of yourself. I know. That sizzle in the oil is just, ugh. All right. Now, see what we got going on. Yeah. Look at that, guys. Lurked hours ago and just came downstairs to you on the screen. Glad the raid gods got me here to see some cooking. Oh, I'm glad you're here, sniping. Good to have you. Making a stir fry now. Ooh, stir fry. Okay, I'm gonna get a pan. Gonna get a pan for these. And make myself some room real quick. Ah! Why do I suddenly need a bigger kitchen? This kitchen's good. Ah! Yes, hi. Everything is fine. Everything's fine. I'm also going to lay out some towels. So just paper towels to kind of soak up some grease because these aren't going to sit for a minute. see how this is looking. Have I done a soup yet? I have not done a soup yet, but I do enjoy a good soup. Okay, let's see how this baby's looking. Let's flip them over. Oh yeah. Get that on our paper towel. Over here, let's do the next one. from you. Yeah, this is looking good. We're basically going to be able to get these fries right in. Does the chicken look like a heart? It does a little bit. Yeah, the first one did. But yeah, it is actually veal. Yeah, cast iron pan. Oh, yeah, Alan Main, I want to hear all about it. That sounds delicious. Oyster sauce, sesame oil, cooking olive oil, touch of butter while I'm cooking veggies together, toss a fried egg on top of bed of rice. Yeah, that sounds great. Oh, guys, I'm so excited. Let me check something real quick. Okay. I did remember to take the fire, uh, the smoke detector down just in case. Excellent. Seaweed paper garnet. Oh, yes. That sounds so good. I'm hungry now. Okay, this one's ready to flip. I went, like, they need to invent smell a vision so you all can smell this. It's so good. Oh my God. L2. L2, you're going to make me fat, my friend. So when dinner you make <gasps> I'm really excited. I'm so glad you shared this with me.
really super excited. Okay, that looks like it's cooking up pretty quickly there. Nope, another minute, another minute. I'm getting impatient. Yes, Twitch, give us smell -a vision please. I need it. I so need it. Oh my God. Not close to a recipe, but you have ideas for when you do. Nice. I can't wait to hear them. You have no sense of smell? So just, just curious because I've heard that like your sense of smell is very, very linked up with your taste buds. Does that, does that affect your sense of taste at all? Yeah, now we're good. Now we're looking beautiful. So pretty. All right, next one. That already, so I don't want to eat any of the good looking food. Oh, but it's oh, it smells so good in here. Myself, lay away, wash your hands. And then watch this veal until it's perfect. Hydrate. I am not in a good spot to hydrate and my water glass is empty, but I, I will like chug some water when I have a chance here. Oh, you can taste fine. Okay. It's not chicken tomato, it's veal. Oh no, I can't hug the Wookiee. Can somebody please refund the points for, for gators? Cause the Wookiee is downstairs. So I can't, I'm so sorry. If I could go through life not smelling half the shit I have, I'd probably be a lot less traumatized. Oh gosh. Hey, you're good, you're good. Making sure everybody understands what they're dealing with here because yeah, some people might think I'm a horrible person for using veal, but veal is delicious, so. Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. He's coming. Wait, he's coming. Oh, well, I'm trying to grease over here, but okay. Oh, I didn't want you to. Oh my God. I was gonna do it for you. If you have hands, your hands and stuff. Oh, it's okay. I got a few seconds on the deal. All right, thank you, Papa Jedi. My husband's sweet, y'all. Beautiful. Get my pan. There we go. All right, last one. Hey, Gilded Steph. Hello, lovely lady. How are you? Yep, we are finishing up the veal, and then we're gonna make our French fries, and then we're almost ready to eat, guys. I'm excited. This is very, very involved, but it seems like it's going to be super worth it. I am so pumped. All right. Lay it away from you and wash your hands. Thought it was a sound on Steam, didn't realize it said hug, yeah. What area of the country do you live at? So if you couldn't tell from, from some words that come slipping out, I'm in Tennessee, I'm in the South. I'm from, uh, I'm from Atlanta originally, so I'm very Southern. <laughs> Oh, 
Have you smelt anything? The answer is no. Okay. Interesting. Okay, I think we're ready to fleep, fleep, fleep. Yeah. I'm so excited. Oh, yeah, we had the Tennessee Convo one. Okay, yeah, I, 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 I've had that conversation with so many people I can't remember anymore, honestly. Oh, goodness. I am so excited for this. Ah! So before we get to the French fries, what I'll do is we'll get this over here on the pan. Um, we'll get it topped with the Black Forest ham and the cheese. Get that in the oven so everything gets melty. We'll make the fries and we're basically ready to assemble dinner, guys. I am so excited. Yeah, that one's done. Okay. Get this on a paper towel over here to drain. All right, I'm gonna cut the heat. I'm not gonna touch it. That is still very, very hot for a while. So let me scoot you all over here. Only Southern state I lived in was Kansas. I don't think that's really Southern. Do not make, me, I'm not singing Rocky Top though. I don't do that shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let me grab my camera. Blade of Nasty, I love Lord of the Rings. I own like extended edition, everything. It's it's my favorite. Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit are what got me into fantasy genre as a very, very young child. And the reason I'm a total, well, I won't say it's the complete reason I'm a total nerd because I love Star Wars and Star Trek as well. But yeah, you get the picture. Okay, so I'm gonna just transfer these onto the actual baking dish now and I'll show you guys what we're gonna do. more southern than south florida <laughs> i've got some family sort of like central florida well do i need to sacrifice to get the recipe yeah l2 do you care um do you care if i share this in the discord after we're done you played shadow of war shadow of war was the second one right I've not played Shadow of War. Like, Shadow of War, I, I watched Papa Jedi play some of it and was like, oh my gosh, this just looks like it's getting grindy. And there was like, I, it seemed very paywally. And I just, I, I was like, no, this, I'm, yeah. Um, or wh whichever one was the second one. I get them mixed up, honestly. Okay. All in the north, North Dakota, nice. Yeah, Jay Miller, I've got I've got some family just like little ways from uh, Disney World and stuff. It's a cultural recipe, not a super coveted family one. Okay. All right, so we've got so traditionally, this would not be ham. This would be prosciutto cotto. However. <sighs> Yay for living in the middle of nowhere, Tennessee. We cannot get prosciutto cotto anywhere. So we're going to lay a lovely... Is that too much, L2? Like, do I need to fold this in half or cut it? Like, how much ham do we want on here? You're just a little ways from Disney World. Oh, shit, dude. Yeah, you're very close to some family of mine. Oh, my God. One slice each flat. Yes, sir. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful ham. Alan and his family near Disney too. Well, heck, guys, streamer trip to Disney World. Um, all right, so now I've got this uh, lovely cheese we sliced up earlier. I'm just gonna lay some of this across the top of each piece of veal. I'm gonna do a little more on that one. The screwdriver isn't filling. Oh my God. And you're drinking on an empty stomach, Mayo. Oh, dude. Go ham. Ugh. Woo. 
very near Disney. Your sister, where, you, dude, yeah. So my my cousin lives close enough that she's got like the passes and takes her kids like all the freaking time. Should Trollcon take place at Disney? <gasps> I'd be there. I'd be there in a fucking heartbeat. So like Papa Jedi and I have never gone to Disney World, even though I've got family there. Never been. Um, and we were going to take Lucas and then my cousin and her kids and we were all going to go and then COVID. So, you know, father's giving you a sermon, SOS, send help. Um, as, as a fellow pastor's kid, Mama Guac, I feel for you, but I don't know how to make it stop. That'd be very convenient. Yes. Oh my God. Okay. So these babies are going into the oven at 350 until they are melty and beautiful. And by then our fries should be done and we'll be ready to plate this up, guys. I'm really excited. Tell him you know a Jewish tomato that'll confuse him. Just coming off the getting stuff done, hi. Yeah, you need like food on your stomach, sir. Okay. So, y'all are not really going to be able to see this part, so I'm going to switch it over to my, my just chatting screen for two seconds, and then I'll, yeah, I'm just going to leave this camera over here. Yeah, hello. We'll just put that right there. I'll get back to it in a second. So what I'm going to do, I didn't even like, okay, french fries, they're going in the pot over here. And we're gonna just fry them until they're like just almost golden because really what's gonna happen with these is they're gonna continue to cook when we take them out. So we wanna pull them just before they're the right golden brown um, so we don't overcook them because they'll continue to brown just a little bit as they're sitting on the plate. So, one moment. The apron though, I love my Leia apron. I'm apparently not allowed to do a cooking stream without the Leia apron now. So let me get my spider. Fish these babies out when they're ready. I need a plate. I need paper towels. Fries. I'm excited. And yeah, we're almost done, guys. Almost done. Okay. Fries are going in. I'm going to use the spider to lower them in because, again, fire or not fire but potential burn risk so I'm sure y'all can hear that we'll do them in a couple batches put the food on your stomach not wait 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 oh my god guys you know what i meant you all know what i meant have that one guy wondering if he should do a brisket stream. I would so be here for that. Oh my God. All right. I hope you guys can at least hear these sizzle. Of <laughs> Instructions unclear. Smash the sandwich on your tongue. <laughs> okay. Mato, honey, you need to pick up the sandwich and take a bite and chew it. <laughs> oh my God. I love you all very much. Yeah. All right. That's smelling good. All right. Judging by the doneness, I am going to get some water and hydrate right now. Ignore the mess. Ignore the mess. hydrate before. I'm hydrating. I'm going to drink a lot of it. Step one, set down drink. 
Uh, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna ignore this conversation. Are we watching a horror movie? Mother, watch out. <laughs> Phasma House. Oh, God. Wind rate. We're gonna wind rate as soon as this is done. Also, I almost forgot, guys, after we do this, I've got to get some eggs fried because we're gonna do fried egg on top of this. It's gonna be wonderful. But first, I need to get the hot pots out of the way. So, fries first. We're gonna do fries. We're gonna wait for this to finish. Oh yeah. It's getting nice and bubbly. Really want some wine? Girl, come have some with me. Oh shit. French Club 218, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the happy little family. Got no wine, whoops. I have hard liquor that, I mean, I also have whiskey. I'll drink some whiskey with you, Steph. Black cherry whiskey, yum. All right, guys, I'll show you these fries. They're, they're getting there. I, I bumped the heat up a little bit. Cause honestly, better to, better to have to bump the heat up than to have to try to cool off hot oil cause that's a pain in the ass. But whiskey today, crunk cooking. So, okay, I may do a tipsy cooking stream sometime when I'm not dealing with like multiple pans of burning hot oil, <laughs> but until then, uh-uh, there's no fucking way. <laughs> yes, you're making a drink, yeah. We gonna be fancy as fuck and have some wine with this. Yeah, French Cliff, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. How did you find us? Tipsy breakfast burritos. Oh, we could do tipsy breakfast burritos because that means I could cook mimosas. French Cliff, we are making a Uruguayan recipe called Milanesa con huevos. So uh, the plate is gonna consist of French fries and a Russian potato salad, which has potatoes, beets, um, carrots, peas, uh, chopped hard boiled egg, mayo, salt and pepper. Um, we are topping both of these things with um, uh, breaded fried veal, which has been topped with a slice of black forest ham, a slice of Swiss cheese, and to top all of this off, we're gonna put a fried egg on top. So we're gonna eat a shit ton of food is basically what we're doing. Browsing food channels, nice. Always wanted to film yourself drunk cooking, you should do it. Mama Glock, when are you gonna do like a cooking, you, you should do a, a drunk cooking stream. I would absolutely be there for Mama, Dr Mama Glock drunk cooking stream. Right guys, help me out here. I'm trying to convince her she needs to stream because she'd be amazing at it. Talk about depth, sounds great, yeah. Okay, more fries. All right, I think we can get the rest of these in here. Into the hot oil. Boom. Alrighty, y'all. I'm gonna switch it back to this so you can see the fries we just took out. I'm gonna salt them just a little bit. And we're just gonna hang out, wait for this batch to finish. And then, yeah, we're good to go. Right, Mama Guac, see, you've got so many people that would show up. You got so many people that would show up and watch you stream. I think you need to do it. You got a gorgeous face and a wonderful personality, and I think everybody would love you. All right, more hydrate. Oh, hydrates are good. I'm gonna try one of these fries. Oh yeah. Mm -mm. I'm gonna let this batch go, go just a smidge longer. They are cooked beautifully. A little more floppy than I would like. A little bit more floppy than I'd like. However, the flavor's there. So that's good. Mm. Okay, I need to not eat all the french fries. Okay, 
I'm gonna make room over here. Because guys, we're ready to get the veal out, out of the oven. Treat yourself, eat them. Yeah, but I wanna have some to like go with the whole plate. I'm trying to not snack as I go. <laughs> All right, I'll show you guys this. Let's get our breaded veal out of the oven, show you this, and then I'm gonna set it. Whoop. Who farting at me? Bladed nasty. Tooting in my kitchen. All right, okay, all right. I am gonna eat one more fry, and then I swear I'm done, guys. Mm. Yep, potato salad and fries and Veal and fried egg. We are treating the shit out of ourselves tonight. I am so, so excited LT picked this. Eat all of the fries for you. Potatoes for tomatoes, yeah. I mean, I would just eat all the taters myself anyway. But, you know. Let me see if I can, see if this will reach. I'll try to show you guys what we got going on over here. Look at that. So gorgeous. So, so gorgeous. I'm excited. Back on the fries. That fry action, right? Yeah, these are gonna take just a minute. Just a minute. Oh, the veal. Oh my God, guys, I'm so hungry. Papa Jedi, can you smell any of this, honey? Because, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh. Drooling. Drooling. Okay. While these are cooking, I'm going to move some stuff out of the way and I'm going to get us ready for our eggs. All right. slightly crazy. Only slightly. Okay. Oh, still hot. That was dumb. Okay. Oh, two seconds. Gonna do this. You weren't crazy wouldn't be here enjoying this. Okay, fair. As long as it's good crazy. All right, I'm gonna move this pan. I'm gonna get a nonstick pan that I keep losing even though it's in the same damn spot. <laughs> I'm gonna put this here. We're gonna set this on like just shy of medium, just shy of medium. I'm gonna get me a couple of eggs and we're gonna get and some butter and we're gonna get these ready to fry up. Camera angles, I swear. All right, enjoy D and D bladed nasty. Have a great night. Okay, let me grab two eggs. Let me grab my butter. We'll be right back. Hey, Rogue Singer, welcome back. Everything's fine. Damn, you share the smells. <laughs> Sorry, guys. But 
Hey, like I said, L2 gave me the okay to post this in Discord, so it will be there. It's literally a file I just have to like copy paste. So yeah, this will be in Discord as soon as we're done, I promise. I'm hiccuping. Share the smells. Like I said, when, when it's when it's safe for us to all get together in person, I will cook for everybody. I may have to put some people to work to cook for a crowd, but I will cook for everybody. You can get you can get your wife to make it for you. Nice. Highly recommend. This is all very tasty so far. Put you to work for sure. Nice. Yeah. I love cooking for people, so yeah, if we could all get together and just have like a great big meal as like a little Twitch family, that would be so fun. So, so fun. That blue glow is quite satisfying. See, it doesn't glow blue in real life. It glows red, but that's how the camera picks it up. So... Just go with it, I guess. Yeah, the second batch of fries is almost done. Would love to cook with me. Yay! I'd love to cook with all of you. It'd be so fun. Yeah, I, I don't understand it. This is even like with the upgraded webcams. I don't I don't know why it's picking up blue, but it, the it it shows my uh, shows my stove is blue. Lieutenant Mean Strong, hey dude, how you doing? Welcome. Right? Yeah. Hurry, hurry just, just come on, Twitch. Hurry, hurry the fuck up with the smell of vision for these people, please. All right, fries are almost done. I guess I can turn the oven off, huh? Because we, we don't need to put anything else in there. Oh, spatula. I might want one of these when it's time to get the egg out. I, I, okay, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just being weird tonight. Smell-o-vision or just cooking ASMR? Ooh. Flipper! Ah. I'm gonna get a lid. Just to kind of like, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drop the eggs in here. I'm gonna put a lid on it to kind of help cook the top part of the yolk because you don't want that like. You know that like little bit of like egg white that just doesn't cook sometimes when you do like a sunny side up egg? Yeah, we don't want that. So, and we're gonna do butter in the pan. And we'll also be, that way we'll also be able to baste the top of the egg white with butter as needed to help cook it. Egg snot. Yeah, exactly. Nobody wants egg snot. Okay, I think these fries are ready to come out. We're gonna cut the heat. Oh yeah, guys. Oh yes. Fries are done. I'm just going to hit them with some lovely coarse sea salt while they're hot. And now, let's fry some eggs. Let's fry them. Okay. So, salted butter. I'm going to do a couple of tablespoons. I'm 
turn that down. All right. Oh. It's like we're the same person, gross. Oh, what's up, Ian? How you doing? All right. So first egg going in. And let me crack one more egg. I like to keep them separate because I want them to look pretty. All right, first egg, second egg going in. Get that yolk kind of more centered. There we go, beautiful, okay. Now, lid. We're gonna see a lot of steam. While I'm doing this, I'm or while that's going, I'm gonna go ahead and get us a couple plates and assemble this. So, one moment. Yeah, those will need just a minute. Not much to see here. So I'm going to move you all over here. My go-to brekkie. I don't make a whole lot of breakfast, honestly. Like I, um, I just am not hungry in the mornings generally, but if I do make breakfast, there's a couple different things I like to do. Okay. Yeah. Just another minute. That'll be good. So let's assemble. shit all over this kitchen um so a couple things I like to make one omelets um I love a good omelet and then oh gosh this is gonna sound a little strange but if anybody has like never had a savory oatmeal do it you definitely want to um but a savory oatmeal is basically like I'll cook it with broth and then add in like Parmesan cheese, spinach, and do a fried egg on top. That's delicious. Um, some other stuff I like to do. Oh gosh. I love making French toast. I love making pancakes. Um, quiche. I've made quiche on stream before. I like to do a good quiche sometimes. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I love breakfast food. Absolutely. Whoa. Okay. So everything's good. We've got the heat cut on the eggs. I'm going to put some fries on each plate. Fries and Papa Jedi. If you want to start making your way up here, I'm basically just going to have to open a bottle of wine. All right. So in L2, I'm basically just going to need to like put the Milanesa on top and then just put the egg on top, right? Like across the top of everything. Let me see if we can't focus on just one of these beautiful babies. There we go. Never eat breakfast, only walk breakfast food for dinner. Yeah, eat too early. Milanesa, ham, cheese, egg on the cheese. Perfect. Okay, so yeah. All right. Milanesa. Vanessa. All right. Holy fucking shit, guys. And then egg on top 
of that. Now, egg or L2, do you salt or pepper the egg? Or do you just like do you a fried egg and eat it this way? Oh my god. Okay, so the next part and the very last part, we're pairing this with a wine. Wine pairing, I'm excited. Little salt if you like. Okay, excellent. Let me move you all back over here. Papa Jedi is standing right where I need to go. Yes, always. Thank you, honey. <laughs> Look at this plate, guys. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh my God. Tag your food, poor mother. <laughs> I'm sorry. A little water situation. Where? Oh, that's the ice cubes I dropped. It's fine. I nailed it. Oh, L2, thank you. I'm so happy. I am going to do a little pepper on the top of each. And then we get some pictures, and we're going to get some wine. And dig right into the Holy shit. Oh, holy shit. Like, I don't even know what to say. Oh my God. A wild papa appears. Yeah. Yes. Huh. Huh. Like two oh, there's what? Green peas or something on the Okay, I thought you said like somebody peed on something. I was like, who the fuck would pee on something? The kid is at his mamaws. <laughs> anyway, guys, let me grab some. Um, let me show you this wine. Who said his personal favorite for this is an uh, a Malbec. It's an Argentinian uh, red wine, I believe. It looks like a red wine. I've never tried it before, but we're gonna try it. He said it goes beautifully with all of this. That's a lot of is that something the Padawan does normally? <laughs> no, we struggle to get him to to pee in anything, but his diaper potty training is is rough. <laughs> But it, yeah, at least he's not peeing on everything. Okay, let me get a couple, or can you grab a couple wine glasses for me? Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get pictures, because I'm not gonna be able to control myself once I get into this. Oh, the angles. Okay, anyway. how this goes. Oh my gosh. Malbec goes good with this dish. It's from Argentina, which is next door, and they make dishes similar to Uruguay. Okay. Oh, crack that yolk, baby. Oh, we will. We will. This is the moment. Yeah. Okay. Well, first we're going to get into the wine because I got to have wine. Wine helps me drink. Um, I really hope somebody gets that reference. How the fuck? How the, okay. Yeah. That's why you're, <laughs> crack that yolk, yeah. I mean, yeah, wine, wine does help me drink. I'm just saying. I do have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, go to the bathroom, go to the bathroom, give me time to pour the wine. Just hurry, I want to dig in so bad. Alrighty. Knife. Do you have the quote command? I do. It's exclamation point, add quote, and then whatever you want it to say. It may be a mod only thing if a mod can copy paste whatever we're quoting. I don't know. Argentina and Uruguay have that funny relationship where they're almost identical but refuse to be confused with one another. Food excitement. It's all about quote five, but yeah, no, I can't do words. Words are hard. This cork is hard. What the fuck? There we go. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Yay, I can see you. Happy to copy pasta, yeah. Yeah, I think we may have to have a mod copy pasta, but we can absolutely do a quote if you want, Alan, man. 
Wine helps me drink is getting added. So that's actually a Bob Burgers quote. I cannot take credit for that. Yeah. But Papa and I joke that I'm kind of a Linda, Linda Belcher, so. Oh, Jesus, it took the seal. It was sealed so much, it took the seal off of my fucking. Oh, shit. It took the seal, off, took the the seal off my fucking corkscrew, y'all. Ah. 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 Hey, D and Susan. Well. well, fuck. Okay, it's fine. We'll deal with that after stream. Yet another corkscrew we have to replace. <laughs> that was a, uh, the cork was really in there. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Beautiful red wine. The wine is too strong. We're here about to find out. Okay. It does. Ooh, yeah. Really good one. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna try a sip of this wine. Mmm. Ooh, I like, okay. I like uh, Malbec's, that's like official. This. Would you like a plate, honey? Yeah. I'm gonna like cut this one in the camera. At least it opened the wine before it died. Yeah, exactly. Okay. You guys want, want to see some runny yolk? That's how you know it's hard alcohol. Anticipation of the egg. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this. I'm gonna see if I can get a good camera angle on the egg for you. Focus. Okay, let's cut into this. Just. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice runny yolk. Look at that. All right. Okay, I'm going to go straight for the veal, guys. I can't stand it any longer. Let's get a big bite of this. Oh, oh yes, the runny yolk. Oh, I don't know how, how well it's coming across on the camera, but oh, God. Some of that melty cheese in there. You lost a piece of ham, oh no. Okay. Oh God, okay. You ready? Oh my God, L2! Dude! Oh my God. Dude. There. Yeah, sorry, scoot stuff if you need to. There are no words right now. Try the potato salad. Have you tried that? I'm trying to get I'm gonna try, Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get a bite of everything. So veal, fries, potato salad. Oh my gosh, okay. Let's see. Look at all this, guys. It's beautiful. Mmm. This is so good. Mm -hmm. I could eat all of it individually and then together. Mm. Absolutely wonderful. Moist. Hey, Heltena. Heltena. Are you here? Are you here? Somebody said moist. Ha! <laughs> I feel like y'all are having a life-changing experience with the meal. This is really good. I don't think I've had anything like this ever. This is so fucking wonderful. Mm. Yeah, let's spam some moist in the chat for for Heltena. I'm gonna try a sip of the wine now too. Yeah. Oh, it's basically an unmeal. It's so good. It's just your mouth. Ah. Moist. Moist. Moist, moist, moist. She's gonna probably get on Discord and yell at me <laughs> after stream. Okay, I'm gonna take one more black. Oh, that veal. What are you looking for? Uh, where, yeah, wherever we have new paper towels. Okay, I'm gonna have one more bite. Mm. I don't even care how messy my eating is right now. This is just. Mm. 
Mm. I need one of those, please. All your sheep. Hey. Oh my god, Jables! Yes! <laughs> you do an exclamation point moist and it... Or... Exclamation point held tenna and it just says moist. Go follow hell. Oh my god. I love you, Jables! <laughs> Mama Glock. Moist. There you go. Mm -hmm. There you go. For the content. All right. So... Mm. Yeah, again, guys, this is absolutely amazing. This will be really easy copy-paste into um, the Discord. If I can get an exclamation point Discord, if you're new tonight and you would like this recipe, I'm going to cut back to it one more time just because you'll need to, like, I'm, I'm destroying it already. But if you are interested in trying out this recipe, it is going to be in the Discord as soon as I finish eating. We would love for you to join us there. Everybody's awesome. We do cooking, we do crafts, we do video games, we do a little bit of everything there. Um, thank you very much, Phoenix. Um, but yeah, I think it is time for us to go find somebody to raid so I can get really, like, just into this without feeling, oh, without feeling too much shame. Okay. I'm just dangerous today. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. Everything is trying to kill us. All right, who we got on? Who we got on? Is anybody cooking? I don't see anybody cooking. Yeah, no cooking. Okay. Uh, who have we not raided? Uh, oh, Cat Girl Next Door's on. I have not rated Cat Girl Next Door yet, guys. But she's super sweet. Let's all go show her a whole bunch of love. Um, let me make sure I can actually get her name. All right, but yeah, we're going to go pass on the love to Cat Girl Next Door. We love Cat Girl. She's a sweetie. Please give her a follow, hang out, get all the raid emotes ready. Um, yes, thank you again for hopping in the Discord there. But guys, this has been so fun. Huge, huge, huge thank you to L2S Entertainment for giving us this recipe. He's wonderful. Thank you for sharing it with us. We're absolutely loving it. Um, but yeah, I love all of you so much. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for all the love. I am off tomorrow, so I will be back Monday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and yeah. I will see you all then. Have a wonderful evening. Have a wonderful day tomorrow. I will see you all on Monday. Let's go raid cat girl.